Okay, we're back and we've got question seven next. We're back with coffee. We're only with the coffee. Right, question seven. A theatre has 20 rows of seats. 15 seats in the first row, 17 in the second row. And each successive row of seats has two more seats than the previous row. So the first thing you're looking at that, you think, right, so there's uh, 20 seats. And then 20, oh, not 20 seats, 20 rows of seats. So one, two, three, four, four, okay, all 20 rows. 15 in the first row, 17 in the second in each one, so 19, 21, okay, and there's a total of 20 rows, okay, so I can imagine that. Now, I think that must be an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 2. Okay, so calculate the number of seats in the 20th row. Right, so, <clears throat> in the 20th row, you've got 15 plus... Uh, 19 times 2 because you've got 19 differences you're gonna you're gonna add on from the first to the 20th row um, and what I've realized here is that my first term a is equal to 15 or u1 you can call it u1 if you want um, I know that my D is equal to 2 and for this my n is equal to 20 it's quite good to state those um, and just working backwards, I could say that that was 15 plus n minus 1 d, or not even 15, I should have written a plus n minus 1 d, but you get the idea. Right, so 15 plus 19 times 2, that's 15 plus, 19 times 2 is 38, 15, 38, that's 48, 53. So it equals 53. All right, that wasn't very hard. Uh... I'm expecting something more. The total number of seats. Okay, so total number of seats is is the sum of the first 20 rows, S20. I think this is going to be straightforward. So we know how many seats there are in the 20th row. I'm going to use the first plus last um, equals N over 2, um, A plus L. First plus last equals N over 2, 20 over 2, 10. Lovely numbers. A, first first one is 15 plus last 53 um, 15 plus 53 is 68 68 uh, and that's 10 times 68 equals 680 okay seats maybe I'll put unit seats in total and for that I should say 50 seats all right lovely Question 8. What have we got? Ah, oh, binomial. Expand x minus 2 to the power of 4 and simplify your result. Find the term in x cubed. I like that. And then something a bit more meaty and complicated. Good. x minus 2 to the power of 4. And simplify. So x minus 2 to the power of 4. First thing is power of 4. Coefficients, Pascal's triangle. I'm going to let's move this up. Okay, Pascal's triangle for this is 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That's what I'm going to use. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. If you don't remember it, that's how you figure it out. Or you can, if it's a calculator paper, you could use NCR, but it's a bit laborious. So 1, 4, 6, 4. 1. You've got my coefficients. And then each one's got an x. Each one's got a negative 2. Okay. And I'm going to use another colour for this. I'm going to add each one. And I'm going to put in some powers. So it doesn't matter which way you go. Uh, it doesn't say ascending or descending powers of x. So I'm just going to put um, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Every time they add up to 4. Okay. 
<clears throat> I see there's a negative here, which means that the sign is going to flip-flop. So now it says plus, 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 but when we evaluate our coefficients, the sign will flip-flop. So let's just work out coefficients. That's going to become 1. Uh, yeah, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so that becomes 1. This is just x to the power of 4. Leave the sign out. Um, minus 2, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 x cubed. Now, we've got we've got that, so we know now that the sign is going to flip-flop, so I'm going to put plus, minus, plus, <coughs> that should be enough. Now, x4, x cubed, x squared, x, and this is not going to have an x in it, okay? Now, this is 6 times 2 squared, I don't have to worry about the negative anymore, 6 times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 6 times 4 is 24, 4 times 2 cubed, 4 times 8 is 32, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Okay. I think that's correct. So now... We want to find the term in x cubed for this. And we've already worked this out. So I'm just going to write this out. 3x plus 4. 3x plus 4. And what was this? This was part this is part B, isn't it? This is part A. Let's put label those up. Part B. 3x plus 4 times x to the power of 4 minus 8x cubed plus 24x squared minus 32x plus 16. So you've got five bits there and two bits there. If you multiplied the whole lot out, you'd get 10 things and then you'd have to simplify, but it's only asked for the term in x cubed. The only There's only two ways of making an x cubed, and that's that and that. So let's focus on those. 3x times 24x squared is 24 times 3x cubed. And this one is 4 times negative 8. Negative 4 times 8x cubed. OK. So 24 times 3 is 60, 72. So we've got a total of 72 x cubed, and then there's a minus here, minus 4 times 8, 32 x cubed, and so 72 minus 32 is 70, 40 equals 40 x cubed.